Today I'm going to do a dumbbell and rowing machine workout that's great for building leg strength and balance, toned arms and challenging your fitness to improve. I would love for you to join me. I'm JP, this is Lily, let's do this. Today we have four exercises in our workout. We're going to go through those as part of our warm up and then the workout itself will take 20 minutes. We have some rowing, we have a plank, a split squat and a swing and a press. We're going to go through all of those now before we start and they're all going to come in three levels, level one, two and three. Level one is the most accessible, level three is the most challenging. Our plank then, level one would be on our forearms, trying to squeeze our heels together, lock our legs, squeeze our butt, pull our tummy in and spread the shoulders. We would do all those same things with a straight arm for level two and for level three then turn the hands out and lean ourselves or plant yourself over in front of those fingers. And that is our plank. In our workout, we're going to be shooting for 50 seconds at a time. So pick an appropriate level. With our split squat then, we're going to have our three levels. Level one would be a lunge. So we're stepping back, a reverse lunge, and pulling ourselves forward with this front leg. Stepping back, pulling forward. Level two then, we would elevate that rear foot. We would sink that knee down as deep as we can, and again, pull with this front leg, really challenging your butt and your hamstring. And level three, we would go with a dumbbell to increase the load of the movement, so long as it doesn't sacrifice our range of motion. And in the workout, we're shooting for five reps at a time. So again, let's pick something doable. For our swing and press, with our dumbbell, we're gonna hinge over, and swing with the hip to our shoulder, and from there, press up overhead. Now, the main way to adjust this movement is with load. Okay, so level one, super lightweight. Level two, more challenging. Level three, heavier. If you had it, you could do two. For your level three, to your shoulders and then press those up overhead. Uh, again, in the workout, we're gonna be doing eight of those. So we want that to be challenging. Okay, with our row then, it's our normal rowing movement. We're gonna use that to get our heart rate up before we start the workout and then we're getting straight in. The format today, is EMOM, so every minute on the minute. We'll kick things off with our split squat. We'll do our five reps each leg. We'll rest for that remaining first minute. And then starting that second minute, we're gonna go into our swing and our press. We're gonna do our eight reps there. And then we're gonna rest the remaining minute. Minute three, we'll go onto the rower. We're gonna go for calories. I'm gonna get you to pick a calorie amount that's gonna challenge you um, to move fast but still gives you rest. So I'm gonna shoot for 12 calories. And then on our plank, on that fourth minute, we're gonna hold for our 50 seconds. Then we repeat the whole thing five total times, that's 20 minutes. Okay. Let's warm up on the rower. Possibly the simplest warm up we can do here, called Tabata. So if we select workout, new workout, intervals intervals time we're going to press the minus button so it says 0, 0, 020 for 20 seconds and then use the arrow button to head across and set the rest time to 0 and 10 seconds so with Tabata we're going to do eight total rounds of this and you go about 70 80 percent we're going to get super super warmed up start your watch I'm gonna go for cross training today, spice things up a little. <laughs> Let's 
grab your handle. Three, two, one, go. What we're gonna find through these eight rounds is that the 10 seconds flies by. You don't even notice it. Three, two, one, here we go again. Using this opportunity to get our body hot and ready for some hard work. Nice, 10 seconds to breathe. That's two down, six to go. Going again in three, two, one, here we go. So the bin men have just pulled up. Lily's perking up. Three, two, one, here we go again. trying to move a little bit in the recovery if you can there's 10 seconds stop yourself from seizing up three two one nice five down Three to go. Hope you're getting warm. All right, it's through the roof. Three, two, one, here we go. Trying to sit low here. All our body weight under our handle. As we roll, we're pushing under the handle here and swinging through. Three, two, one. Second last one. One last one. I'm feeling pretty primed, pretty ready. Three, two, one, off we go. Nice. Okay, before we move off the rower, set it to calories per hour if you haven't already. So press the units button and cycle through those options until it says cal per hour. I'm gonna have a timer running. That'll keep us right so that at the start of each minute we start a new exercise and once you've done your reps you just rest okay especially with the strength the split squat and the swing and press feel free to make those challenging enough that you have to break up the reps so five in each leg definitely rest between legs and with our swing and press eight each arm or if you're doing doubles stick with eight Make that challenging. Okay, might have to do it two sets. I'm gonna add in a bonus, 
okay? <laughs> Gonna have a minute rest after each round. So just four rounds for 20 minutes. Grab a sip of water. We are starting with our split squats in 10 seconds. Jakers. Three, two, one. Here we go. Taking your time to go through these. Really engage the muscles on the back of the leg. Squeezing at the top. that rest to change legs, that's cool. There's our 30 second mark. Patient to go low. Try and stand fast. Okay. Next up then, swing and press. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice, I have uneven dumbbells, so I'm swapping them over. As we do those swings, keep that nice straight back as you push your hips back as far as they go to get your swing. All the power there and that swing comes from your hip. Okay, this is the big one. Your calorie number fast as you can in three, two, one. Here we go. So with this, we're challenging ourselves to move at intensity so that we stimulate the body and the rest allows us to keep moving for a long period of time. So we're not limited because we're moving at intensity where you might have to stop at three minutes. Here, we can stretch it out until the full 20. Three, two, one, into our plank. Really drive those heels tight together. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Pull the tummy in. Spread those shoulders. It's tempting here to try and relax in order to hold it for longer. Let's do the opposite. Let's try and squeeze your hands towards each other. And pull your feet and your hands closer together. We've only got 15 seconds to go. Let's hang in there. Keeping those shoulders spread. Butt squeezed. Heels tight. Tummy in. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. And now we save her a full minute's rest. Nice, so have a little think back to all those movements. If one felt super duper easy, see if you can maybe level up or if that's too challenging, see if we can increase the reps at your current level. So say five without weight, too easy. But with weight, throwing you off. So maybe see if we can do eight or 10 without weight. With a row, 
if you had very little time, maybe reduce the calories down, or better still, try and do it faster. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay, I'm gonna go again in 15 seconds. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. 10 seconds, let's grab our dumbbell if you're using it. Otherwise, get your space ready. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I'm gonna say something. Two, one, here we go, round two. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. Trying to hold your body here tall by squeezing that tummy in. Nice. Okay, getting ready for our swing and press. Here we go. Drive with those hips. There. And then punch those elbows up aggressively. Especially when we go overhead. Uh, it's gonna really challenge us to keep our stomach supporting our torso. Easy to kind of arch. Ooh. Three, two, one, off we go. Now, I probably could do more calories, but I need to skedaddle hot, fast after this. So, I'm just reserving a few beans for the rest of my day. Every workout you do, feel free to do the same. These workouts have to serve you and your needs today. Five, three, two, one, here we go. Connecting with your body. Try to feel where it's trying to give up or go loose. And do your best to squeeze that tighter. Engage it more. That's where you're gonna see the most growth. If you're trembling in this, that's a good sign. If you're feeling lower back pain, try to squeeze your butt harder and tuck your stomach in closer to your spine. Almost there. Hold, hold, and down. Nice. Yeah, if your back is getting a wee bit sore on those, usually because instead of being in that strong kind of hollow position, you're in a slight tuck or a arch, sorry. So your hip flexors are pulling on your back. It's not terrible, but I'm sweating profusely. Lots of sweat. But good news, gang, we are halfway done. That means we still have 
half the gain still to come. You're having a big snooze today. Why are you always snoozing on one camera? Okay, 10 seconds. Oh, try that like this time. Two, one. Remember to take your time in these. Feel the muscles, stretch, and then squeeze the stretch. Push into the floor. I can't remember if I did four or five, so I'll just do a bonus one. Just in case. There's your 30 seconds. Here we go. Really fighting to lock it out without using your legs. Build those arms strong. Good boy. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. It's starting to kick in now. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. and calories it's exponential so to get another hundred calories per hour is a larger percentage than the difference in the numbers that doesn't make sense don't worry it already made sense to me into our plank three two one. Right, this is the round, the third round, where your body wants to sag. It wants to give in. We're going to tell it no. Be stronger. Heels tight. Thighs burning. Um, squeezed and sealed shut. Belly button sucked in. Ribs pushed to your hips. And shoulders spread. Trying to push your palms flat onto the floor like a suction cup. That's it. Hands squeeze towards each other and towards your feet. Or elbows if you're on your elbows. And down. Oh, nice. Yeah, so hypothetically, say between a two minute split. And a 159, one minute, 59 seconds split. Say there's 5% difference there in time. It would take 5% more effort to do that. You have that same 5% difference in calories, say it's 1,000 to 1,050, 5%. It would take more than 5% effort to make that change. So, 
long ass story short, go as hard as you possibly can the rower without doing something stupid. Golden advice. <laughs> okay, final round. You ready for it, Lily? You excited? Ready to crush it? Five, three, here we go. Getting that body tall, getting that back knee down low. setup. If you keep your feet about hip distance apart, it'll keep you more stable. If they go in a line, it'll be like you're walking a tightrope. I'm gonna swing and press. Nice. Again, I'd rather you break it up and do good full reps. Rather than just trying to make a number any way possible. Oh, my word. Italy. Not spicy. Two, one. Here we go. Last row, let's make it hot. Heart rate peaking. Uh -oh. You're gonna give me a wee bit. Okay, last plank. Here we go. Best one of the day. Everything tight. Build in. Squeezed. Oh, look who's gonna join us! <laughs> Just in time, Lily. Hey, oh, you're gonna do a big stretch. Big stretch. <laughs> Hold them tight, gang. Hold them tight. 20 seconds. Out of breath. And done. Woo! Good job. As always, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you need more help with your workouts at home, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Shoo.